Hey yeah, this is related to Ad Starva's video named They bullied me four years ago, but not anymore, that by daylight. I thought the video from Ad Starva was interesting, so I took a deep dive into what exactly happened. Oh, and by the way, I really suggest watching Ad Starva's video before watching this video. The link of the video is in the description. Okay, first hand, I want to point out that you, you should not harass this streamer in any way possible. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any footage from the stream from Ad Starva from four years ago. But I did manage to get some footage from the streamer. He goes by the username Fuck7up. He is a 29 year old streamer that lives in France. He bullied, as in survivors bullying a killer, Ad Starva four years ago. He got banned for harassing Ad Starva in his stream because he sent all his viewers to Ad Starva his stream to spam GG while played in chat. So the streamer is not using Twitch anymore, most likely because he got banned too many times, but is currently using some website named kick.com. As you can see, as I'm making the video right now, he's actually live at midnight at almost 1.30 a.m. Funny enough, Ad Starva suddenly faces off against the streamer that bullied him four years ago, which really turned the tables. Here's some footage from Fuck7up. Old Starfa said in his video that the survivors, well, in the lobby, they switch to flashlights the last second. So, like, right before the, you are locked into the match and you can't change your items and perks anymore. You can actually see it. Pay attention to the Claudette with her mat kit and pay attention to the Fang Min. Sur, uh, sur the last of us. On va jouer à Last of Us sur Play. Enfin, on va regarder l'épisode numéro 1 sur... Uh... As you saw right there, uh, he was already using his flashlight. He didn't, like, switch last second, but the Fang Min and the Claudette both switched to the flashlight, like, last second. Ok. Ah, dommage. Oh, yeah! oh il a le flashlighter oh, il... Let's go! Oh non, il a pris le 8! Oh, fais chier! Oh, je suis dégoûté! Oh! Ok. Il a gardon, ouais. Il a gardon. Ah, je suis mort, je pense. Faut que j'arrive à placer mon dédarde. Ils attendent, ils attendent tout le temps, hein, vraiment. Il pue la merde, des dardes. Il est éclaté, le dédarde. Il pue la merde, il pue la merde. Ah, elle, 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 il pue trop la merde, ça y est. Hein. Tape sous la palette, mon gars. Il est à chier, le dédarde. Oh là 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 là. On a chill vu. Il m'avait vu, effectivement. C'est l'enfer, les games. Allez, ça m'a saoulé. Ça m'a saoulé. Vas-y, je vais arrêter. Je vais repartir en PU, je pense. Désolé, Queen, hein, mais c'est un enfer, les games, là. Je vais, je, vais me je vais retourner dans les enfers des, euh, des PU. Ouais. Now if I go to the scorch on my right. Oh, you DC'd. Oh, that's so sad. You guys are not having fun. Oh, that's so sad. A few years ago, when I played against you, I wasn't having fun either. But I played until the end. And I said, GG will play it. It's so sad. And then one of you came to my stream and harassed me and sent all your viewers. I remember. As you can see, the streamer eventually decided to leave the match because he got owned by Ad Starva. I do not speak French myself, but I did notice that he was swearing in general, or most likely at Ad Starfa due to frustration. And if you were wondering what he was saying, literally, whore of shit. Now I would like to show you guys some tweets Fuck7up posted on Twitter when he got banned from Twitch. In the first tweet you can see that he got a notification from Twitch that he got banned for 7 days because of harassment, threats or intimidation of others. 
Before I tell you about the second tweet, I want to point out that he probably thought he got banned for some other reason instead of due to how he and his viewers reacted to it at Darva. Or I could be wrong and this is one of his other two Twitch bans that he had. This is the text from the second tweet. Basically, on that by daylight, I play games with the killer Michael Myers. And I play him in a roleplay way. So basically my goal is to play him in a screamer way. To scare the survivors. And to show on Twitch. I try to, I try to only play against other streamers live on Twitch. So that viewers can see the reactions of the streamer. And I tell my viewers not to say anything. Except to say at the end GG. And his viewers on his stream have mass reported for harassment intimidation. Super. This way of acting. Oh yes, and I'm banned too. This is the text of the third tweet. Hello my Habibis. As you know, I'm banned from Twitch. I feel that more and more of Twitch staff treats its partner like vulgar socks. It's been three times I've been banned while live for ridiculous reasons. There is no or very little recognition for streamers like me. And I don't feel safe there anymore. So I created my channel on DLive. For the moment just to reserve my nickname. I would not stream on it. Because I have a contract with Twitch and I still respect it. Still would respect have to go both ways. Meaning, well anyway. Do you like me, my Habibis? Then please also reserve your nickname and I'll leave you my channel if you want to drop a follow. Peace. You are good and I love you. I think this is really funny. Because he says... He first says that the Twitch staff handles him like vulgar socks. And later on he... In the same tweet said... He still respects Twitch. This guy really doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. This was pretty much all the information I was able to find about Fuck7up and his Twitch ban story. My apologies if the... Translations weren't 100% correct. And I would like to thank you guys for watching. Please consider joining my stream sometime on Twitch to see me play Dead by Daylight. I will leave a link in the description. And I promise that I won't bully Atstarva on my stream. And remember... Big, big reminder that karma sometimes, not always unfortunately, but sometimes does come back, even if it takes four years, and I think that was like four or five years ago. <laughs>